so welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new welcome to my youtube channel and if you're not subscribed subscribe now turn on my post notification bell and also make sure you leave a comment because i comment back or i would like your comment or love it whatever just make sure y'all being active and as long as i'm being active posting every day y'all should do the same comment subscribe do what it but today I'm doing like a little story time on why my experience at working at Amazon. I worked at Amazon, the one in Romulus, the DTW one. And um, first I'm going to say, I'm going to start off from like the hiring process part. The hiring process part is like this little application. You got to play like a game so they can know where to put you at inside of the facility. facility I guess and that's what it's for. Then, if you don't pass the little game part, you can't get hired, basically. And then after that, um, you go to orientation. They didn't have an interview. They didn't have an interview. So yeah, you go to orientation, and you um, just sit there for like I think it's five hours. That was the longest five hours of my life. But all you're doing is just sitting down, learning about the job, watching, you know, like a real orientation. And then you take this little quiz. And if you don't pass the quiz, you can't work there either. But basically, they will help you on it. Because I think my first, I worked there twice. The first time, I don't remember how many I got wrong or how many they said you can't. I mean, how many they said you had to get right to get in the facility. I don't remember, but I passed it. And, um, I probably got a couple wrong. And then the next day is your orientation to the next day you start. My shift was at 6.45. Yeah, 6.45. I got off at 5.15 in the morning. So that was like 10 hours. Then they had this other shift. It was 12 hours. It was, I'm thinking, oh no, it was 6.45 to 7.15. But you work on weekends and you get paid like, me, I was getting paid like 15 something. The weekend shift, I paid 17 something. I wanted the shift I was on because the weekend shift, that's too long. 12 hours and on my feet and my knee already messed up. Mm -mm. But, um, you just let us 10 hours. The first day, you're not really working. They're just teaching you about the job, showing you how to do it. You only, you only actually go work for like four to five hours closer to the, like after the second lunch, that's when you will start working. And, um, they first they go teach you obviously how to build a box first, and then that's how you get started. But basically, um, the breaks was terrible. I say they terrible because uh, you get two breaks, but I'm thinking I can't remember how long was that. Probably thirty minutes. I'm thinking it was thirty minutes. I don't remember, but. It wasn't a long enough break because we was there for 10 hours slaving on our feet. Can't sit down. None of it. So the breaks was uh, terrible. Then you had to sit. It was like the place was actually big in the break room. So I guess that's a good thing. And um, what else was terrible? Oh, the time off task. Time off task is like when? You basically just not at your station doing work or you could be there and it could be no work. So the good thing, oh, you can get fired for that. But the good thing about it is I never had time off task only if it was like to go to the bathroom or cause they had like this doctor lady in there. But I used to just go there when I didn't feel like working. Nothing that used to be wrong with me. I used to be acting like it was so, so I could stop working for a minute. But, um, I mean, but they used to excuse me for that. So I never really got a time of task. A lot of people got fired from that, which is really dumb. And the good thing about working at Amazon is that they run, run out of work quickly, especially like in the summer or like a little bit of the winter too. I remember I was going home early like every day because, well, it was like voluntarily. And I was leaving because who was about to be there just standing there. And so that's a good thing about it. Then they might let you sit down. They might, if you got a terrible manager, manager, they might be like, no, stand up. 
The second thing I would say, what is another thing that was terrible? Oh, and then the far walks, that was terrible. Like you would be walking to get to your station for like five minutes. Then another thing, oh, I used to pack there. Uh, it was AF, I don't remember, it was AFE one or some two, I guess, I don't know, I don't remember. And um, the only thing I hate about that is like, say if I'm packing, if they need help somewhere else, they would come get me in or anybody in, you would have to work over there. And I hate, this is the second time I worked there when they had us doing that. And I hate it doing singles. That's like you put literally one thing in a box, pack it up, send it on a um conveyor belt. That was the terrible thing ever. Me, I was in I don't I forgot the name of it, probably multi I don't know. But it's like the whole order is on the screen and you basically you put everything in a box. It'd be like sometimes it'd be like thirty items, a lot of stuff. I'd rather do that than doing singles because that was just doing too much. So you put all that in the box. Everything gonna be on the screen. It'll tell you like where it's at, what color shoot to get it out of, and like what it is basically. So you put it in a box and then you push it on the conveyor belt. Then you wait till your next item come. And um, you do the same thing over again. Okay, and then um, when I was reaping it, that is terrible. If they ever ask y'all, do y'all want to rebin? Do not do it. The best thing to do at Amazon is packing. Rebinning, you basically have to stand in front of this little conveyor belt thingy where all the stuff is coming down to you and it might be coming like two different ways and you gotta be able to multitask and get both of them. But basically you um take it off the conveyor belt you put it inside of the chute and press this little button that they want you to push. And then you send the box off what the package came in. You just send it off to, uh, to the thing. And you have to keep doing it. You're gonna be getting hot, tired, dizzy. I was getting dizzy because you had to like keep going in circles. And then the rebinders basically put the stuff in the little chute thingy where the packers will have to pack it. And then it was another thing called, I don't remember the name of it. Basically you scan the item into the system. If that makes, I don't know, I forgot what it's called. Y'all probably know what I'm talking about. But it's like you just scan it and push it down. You just keep doing it. That's easy too, I would do that. And then another thing y'all might hate, I know everybody else hate it, is the rates. You have to have a certain rate. And if you don't have that rate, they can either fire you. They gonna have to retrain. No, first they go give you a warning. They retrain you, then they fire you. Maybe the first time I was working there, they had to give me a warning. That's because I didn't want to do it. But the second time I was good, my rates was like high. Some days they probably wasn't high, but if you keep getting bad rates like every day or like two times out the week, maybe three, they gonna say something to you. But you ain't really gotta worry about that for real. I mean, you do, but if you got like a manager that's just doing too much, you have to be worried about it. Worrying about it. My the first time I worked there, he wasn't really. He was like a cool manager, but the second time, they was worried about it. And basically, yo, packing your rate had to be at a two thirty. You had to pack up two hundred and thirty items within an hour it might seem like it's easy but it's not because sometimes you might not be in no work meaning like you ain't got nothing to pack up yo shoot thing is just clear and you have to go tell them when it's clear or when there's no work in the building basically so they will not hold you accountable for that but if they, they might try to be sneaky and be like, well, you wasn't working this day and that's the day when the whole place went out of work. And you gotta be like, no, that's when, you know, y'all know. And then another thing that I hated was, oh, let me tell you about the breaks. I ain't get into detail on it. Okay, the breaks. It was this, y'all know the facility is real, real big. Y'all got like a 30 minute break. So it take you about like 10 minutes, five minutes to get to the break room. 
So your break only like 20 minutes really. Then you gotta heat up your food, do all that. So your break really not that long. Especially like if you coming from outside. Um, what's another thing I hated? Time of test. Oh, the PTO and vacation and something else. I don't know. But they only give you like remind y'all we work i work 10 hours they only gave me like three hours of like pto and two hours of vacation i don't know if that's the exact numbers i don't know but it's like it's similar to that and um what i'm gonna do with that if i'm working 10 hours pto is basically like you could either come in three hours late or say if i got three hours you come in three hours late or you come in leave three hours early basically so then if you keep using it you're fired like if you go negative you're fired so basically don't be using it unless y'all got something important to do because they will fire you and the first time i worked there i didn't really had that much but i wasn't in a negative either i was like okay but the second time i had a lot of pto and everything and then, oh, the PTO. That's like when they ask y'all, do y'all want to go home early? If they ask y'all, do y'all want to go home early, you don't have to worry about your PTO getting taken. But if they don't be glad, if you choose to go home, your PTO and everything getting taken. And then another thing is the bereavements. I was using this a lot my second time working there. You can get fired from this. They find out you're lying or anything but i just didn't care because i was like that was my second time working there and i actually worked there three times i'm gonna tell you about the third time though okay so the bereavement is when basically i'm terrible but you just do it online or you can go up there and tell them i always told them online because i didn't want them to know i was lying so basically you lie and be like oh this person passed away so you basically be like, this person passed away and you need you some days off. I think, I don't remember how many they give you off, but they give you a lot, like the whole week or I don't know if it was two weeks. It might've been a week. I don't know. I haven't worked there in a while. And um, you basically just be like, yeah, they passed away. I need these days off. I don't remember you if i remember if you oh no you put like who was who were they to you like sister brother auntie i kept putting stepbrother because i didn't want to say my actual brothers and sisters i mean i said it not my actual brothers and sister but you know like in my household and everything so i was doing that and then when it went through i either went home happy or i was already at home and um the good thing about it is the second time when I worked there, I guess they liked me or whatever because they need, most of them would ask for proof like, oh, where's the obituary and you know all that. I did one at least like six times or more. They'd be like, um, where's the proof? One time the lady, I was so, so close to probably getting fired because she was like, um, she asked my friend for her proof so luckily the proof that he gave them worked because they asked me then it was like oh never mind we don't need it and i'm just like okay good and then the other times they never asked well no they did ask one time and i had to like hurry up and find one i try to go to somebody real funeral and everything and that was the scariest time because i thought i was about to get fired but another thing I hate is, oh, then when a, a virus came around, if you didn't have on your mask, you was getting an automatic write up. But me, like when you working, I was having it halfway down, like to like right here. And they just be like, pull it up, but they won't write my name down. Or the, sometimes they would. But I never got talked to because of that. The only thing I did get wrote up about was because you can't have your electronics on you at all. No charger, no electronic, no phone, no nothing. And mine's, I forgot my charger. It was in my purse, but it was on me. 
And then when I went through the metal detector, it went off and I got rolled up for that. And then my manager said something to me about it. And I'm like, how am I getting rolled up over here too? It ain't got nothing to do with y'all. That's the security part. So yeah, she was just trying to try me. What's another thing I hated? Oh, the third time I worked there, I th I was stowing. I don't like that either. That's, I don't know what the Ray was. I only worked doing that for like two weeks or three and then I quit. Because I ain't like it. And then you can't change your position unless you've been there for a cer certain amount of time. The first time I worked there, I was there for like a year or close to a year. The second time I was there for like only three weeks. The third time I was there for like a year and a half or two years i don't remember but um what's another thing i hate and then i hate how you can't have your phones or nothing on the floor like how y'all go tell us we can't have our phone on us and we gotta stand like sit here for 10 12 hours and then when the work gone we still can't do nothing then a good thing about it is they do have a lot of overtime you can do i was working four days of the week and the first and a little bit of the third time I was working, I was working like at least six days out the week. So I picked up two overtime days or one, depending on how I was feeling. And then, okay, oh, so basically if you tell them that you want to do overtime, like if you, it's like this app they give you to do all that. And if you don't show up, they take in your hours automatic. And what was the app name? I can't remember. I don't know, but that's how you do everything, track your everything, your hours, all that. And they went by military time. I hated that, but I got used to it. And then, what's another one? Oh, and then they talking about you can't have your hair. I mean, you gotta have your hair in a ponytail because they get caught in a conveyor belt. Every warehouse and all hunts and everything say that, but luckily mine never got caught. And then when a virus came around they did let us start having our phones and stuff out our chargers like on us but i think they said if they saw it we had to get rid of it but that was dumb because something could have been wrong with somebody family member or anything and then what's another one? Oh, then it was drama there look I, i'm never well i'm not gonna say never well, at Amazon, I never got into no drama. I was friends with everybody. Not, I was friends with everybody. And, um, they just act like kids. Then another thing is the parking lot. They used to be like, if you driving past, like if you driving faster than like 10 miles, you get rolled up. Like y'all just doing too much, but that never happened. And then you always had to have like a water bottle and all that i'm gonna say the first time i quit amazon was it was because of my knee i don't i think that was the reason but it was always hurting yeah it was when i was packing and then the second time i quit when i was throwing was because i didn't like it and they weren't even paying me right i was uh seasonal so my check was only like 200 and then other everybody else's that wasn't saying uh seasonal was getting like a thousand or more or like eight nine hundred and i'm just like oh hell no so i quit and i waited till they wasn't hiring for seasonal and i got back in packing that time i worked there the longest it was like a year and a half close to two years and i quit because i think i still got a picture of it since my knee had popped out of place, my ankles and feet used to always get like swollen. It used to be like big. Oh, I got hair. It used to always be like big. Like just swollen and fat. And then my knee used to always hurt. So I'm just like, no, that's not why I quit. But that was one of the reasons. The reason I quit was because the virus, it was like on the nose. Uh, we was like one of the worst facilities that had it and then they wasn't even telling us like i could be standing next to somebody they'd get tested and not even tell me that they had it like what so basically how we found out was they sent this text to everybody's phone and it was like someone else just got cold 
just got tested positive for COVID, but they, they won't tell us what, uh, where they like work that in there. Like, you know, they used to just tell us doing that. So I'm just like, I'm about to get this virus. So the unemployment came around. So I'm like, um, I think I signed up for it and then it was in processes on my account. So I'm just sitting here thinking like, I already know I'm going to work here. And I think I made my YouTube channel a couple days before I quit, but I wasn't, I had no intentions on doing that. So I'm just like, I'm just about to post on my YouTube channel, probably get an appointment. And then I just logged off my thing and left because my stuff was already sent processing. And I'm like, I'm about to be working here, catching this virus or every time I get a cold, I'm scared thinking I'm sick and shit. And then it was just too much there, like too much. Y'all, uh, y'all gotta be. Uh, oh, let me. Y'all gotta be brave and all that to work there because I couldn't do it. I don't know how I did it for that long. And then basically, um, it's two parts to packing. One will be upstairs. Another one will be downstairs. The first time I was upstairs. The second time I was downstairs. And then, oh, they give you a five minute grace period after break or lunch, whatever. No, lunch, they give you three minute grace period. So basically, you don't clock out the first time, that will be a break. Then the second time you clock out, that'll be a lunch. And people used to eat people food out the fridge water. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? They were still doing it while COVID was going on. So I'm just like, Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. People still in the break room. Uh, like, just one time I seen somebody just walk up there and take it. I'm like, damn, you ain't, gonna even, you ain't even gonna act like you scanned it or nothing. <laughs> These learning ambassadors, they thought they was doing something. Like, they had, I they, the jacket got to their head and because they was a learning ambassador. Basically, a learning ambassador is when you always sit your rate uh like you do good packing they want you to a learning ambassador is when new people come in you will have to train them coach them on how to pack like how to hit their rate how to reach a 230 and packing all of it I, some of them i mean i like most of them but some of them was just doing too much thinking they was a boss or you know so um then most people there well, i ain't gonna say most people they was wearing like designer stuff like why you wear designer stuff to work like in doing a warehouse i don't i ain't get that what else Can oh yeah about? one time i was in a fucking elevator and the lights started flickering and then started getting like a little shaky i was scared as hell then i had to be the only one in there by myself so i was just like what the fuck? Then we ain't have our phone, no nothing. So I was just in there, and I don't remember if one of my friends was in there with me, or if I was in there by myself. I don't know, but that was scary to get stuck in the elevator with no phone. I know they had like a little car thing in the elevator, but who the fuck want that? Then you couldn't see. I was just fucked up in there, and. Uh, I would say the best thing to do at Amazon is packing or I can remember the other thing skin stuff in the system I don't remember what the name of it is but I used to get irritated when because they used I used to hit my rate like actually do good packing the second time I was there and they used to always call me over to like basically work by the managers. And I always had food. So up there, I couldn't really eat. I had to stay actually working. But when I was like working, packing or rebounding, I was just eating, talking, doing all that. Up there, you can't really do all that. So I'm just like, why y'all keep calling me up here? And I was getting irritated, but I don't know how they actually like me or whatever, but uh, or they was probably just being nice because my legs, I don't know. 
but um i did not like doing it at all and they thought i did and you had to instead of like pushing the boxes on the cavella belt when you're done even if the stuff was heavy you would have to hold it and walk over there push it on the cavella belt like we about to be holding all that shit sometimes the uh people used to order i mean they said the box is no more than 50 pounds but they was heavy they ain't order no extravagant stuff like refrigerators none of that it was probably like books or baby stuff clothes shoes hair lashes the biggest thing i probably packed up was dog food but it wasn't like big big so or if it's heavy i'll just put the box on the floor and push the stuff in and then if it's like Say if it's like this brush and it got a barcode on it, but it's like 30 of them. I would just count, uh, put them, like as I'm putting in the box, count it like one, two, three, four, five, six, put them in a the box. And then if it's 30, I'll just scan it like one thing 30 times. And that's how you hit your rate fast too. So if you work there or you think about work there, y'all better do that and your rate will go up. And what's another way? I'll tell y'all all the little cheat codes. So another way, another way your rate can go up is basically if you manage how long you can make the box and put it in there. It should only take about like 30 seconds to make the box, put the scan and stuff, put it in there, tape it up, you're done. And, but you will get faster once you work there long enough, I guess. So another way your rate can go up. I used to work at 645. So every time we used to get to work, we used to have to like this big, it wasn't a big meeting. It was called stand up, basically like where they tell us what we doing good at, like as a group, what we doing bad at, what we need to get better at, and an overall rate for it. Like the whole facility, not the facility, but like your area, like the packing, the whole packing. So, um, if you come, I was coming to work at 6.45, but if you don't have to go to stand up, you can just come at 6.30 and start packing. That's another way your rate can go up. And then like, it's better to, okay, so like when you packing, it's better to um get on the ends of packing, not the middle, because the middle, you will be picking up big boxes, you will be, getting stuff from all the way down there all the way down there in your area but if you on the end you will be getting stuff like where you at on the end and a little bit in the middle but you rarely will have to go all the way to the other end so i like staying at the everybody likes staying at the end and then some then the end spots they will have more stuff so it's very rare that your you will go out of work and somehow every time i packed on the end that's what helped me because I don't know how I was packing up 230 things, no. And what else? Oh, it was this one time we went out of work. Basically, I got to work. I packed up like two items. After that, it was no work. Like we literally sat down the rest, the whole 10 hours, basically. So. We was just sitting there. It happened. That happened too twice. But that t particular time, we ain't do no work. Everybody was falling asleep. They like get up, get up. But they wasn't sending out, sending nobody home. I guess they thought work was gonna come in. I don't know. Even the people that fix stuff, they was even sitting down. So I'm just like, y'all just got us here for nothing. But I, I'm about to sit down because that was free money. The second time, that I came in on an overtime day, and I packed up like at least five orders. And then we basically went out of work. So they told everybody to clean up instead of sitting down. And my overtime day, I had to only be there for like six hours. So I sat down, I was in the break room. And I told people like, when the work come back, just text me or come get me. And it never, I mean, I was going in back and forth checking, but that's the only good thing about it. You go out of work a lot. Especially because that facility the first time was new, like they just built it. So it was messing up like back to back, like at least three, two times out the week. And that was just the best time. But the, sec the third time I worked there, it wasn't really, 
doing all that, but you were still running out of work, just not as much, or they would send you home instead of have you waiting there, or you would have to clean. And that's about it for this video. So with that being said, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Get me to 5,000 subscribers. I'm going to say every video. Follow my Instagram, conceited.des with five S's. It will be right here, right there. Go follow it. Turn on my post notification bell while y'all at it. And like this video, comment, and go watch all my recents because that's what y'all need to go do. Or y'all. It'd be a lot of y'all watching and some of y'all be subscribed, but 30% of y'all don't. So I'm gonna need y'all to go subscribe. It don't even cost to subscribe. Y'all being petty, like go subscribe. And if an ad come in these videos, y'all better be watching them. Don't skip them. Just watch them. Drink some water while you waiting on the video to restart or something. It's it's that's all you gotta do. Cause if it was y'all, I'd do it. Depending on sign on. <laughs> but yeah, go subscribe, turn on my post notification bell, like, comment, and go do all of that. Comment what y'all want me to do next because I'm thinking of other videos to do like this of where like I worked or just comment. Leave a comment and I'll get back to y'all later. I'm doing too much just now. I just want to talk. All right. Bye-bye.